Hello Scorpio, thank you very much for tuning into this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using The Lightseer's Tarot by Chris Ann. Love this deck. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I think it's... I'm not sure if this is the deck a friend of mine was talking about, but I think it might be because it's really, really awesome. Uh, the supportive oracle cards are the Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. We got... We got some sparky energy going on already. All right, are we, are we pulling from the bottom of these decks? All right, so we're pulling from the bottoms of the deck. I don't know why, but we'll do it. Okay. So I'm gonna flip all these cards. So there's something like. When it does this, I feel like they're kind of like, we have a specific thing we need to say. We need this to be, sp like, right on point. I don't know how to say this. Like, there's a reason. When it comes in like that, it's a little different. Um, it's almost like it's not expected. This is completely unexpected. This is an energy, like, they're saying be ready for this. Just in the sense of, like, life is going to throw a curveball at you at, at any moment. Just be ready to catch it. Just be ready to catch it. Just realize it's coming. It's kind of like, where's it coming from? <laughs> from some direction. <laughs> Just realize sooner or later a curveball in the next couple weeks is coming your way. you got the Queen of Wands on your side. You should be feeling pretty good when this starts. You're in your power. You can handle life. Whatever life's going to throw at you, you got it. There's a sparky energy here. I love the, um, the Queen of Wands energy is a great energy. And I love, love, love how they're depicting it with this beautiful lady. Like, per perfect. Like, that is the awesome energy of the Queen of Wands. Like, she's second to none. She is second to none. She has her own strength. Um, for some reason, I feel like it's necessary for me to know, when I read tarot, the king and queen are equal. I, one does not outweigh the other. They are equal. And she is in her power. She's sitting there enjoying life. She doesn't need to prove anything to anybody. I don't have to stand here. I don't have to be on a throne. I My energy speaks for itself. I don't need to prove to you that I have strength. I clearly have strength. And that's her energy. She just, she's not putting power over anybody. She just has it. It's obvious. She's very strong, very beautiful. It's just very obvious. And when I'm getting this energy, this is the energy you're admitting. Kind of like, I'm in my power. If you want to try to mess with me, well, good luck, because you're not getting far. That's the kind of energy you've got going on there. You're feeling good. you got the joy card. you got the true love come to me, which kind of like, there's things in life you have goals. You're heading towards these goals. Things look like they're heading up the way you want them to head up. You're letting go of things that aren't working out, and you're going towards new beginnings. This is all coming in all at once. Whatever's not working, well, bye-bye. And what you want, you're heading right towards it. You seem to know what you want. You're going towards it, and you're off and running for it. I love this card, too, by the way. <laughs> I just love the fact that there's a motorcycle on the, the Knight of um, Swords. I just think that's so cool. Um, you got your thoughts clear, your direction clear. Boom. There you go. You know where you're going. All right. This is great. Um, okay. Now. 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 <laughs> you do have your sights on where you're going. One card just decided to come in upside down, although it's kind of cockeyed. So it's, I wouldn't say it was upside down, but it's definitely not right side up. And this is the Knight of Cups. Now, if you look at him this way, very dapper, like, if, you're, if you know who Freddie Prince Jr. is, kind of has that feel to me, which is a good energy in my opinion. I don't think he's a bad person. I like him. Um, I don't know him. But <laughs> from what I see on TV, I would think he's a good enough person. Um, clearly has a beautiful wife, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Sarah Michelle Gellar. I don't know why we're going down that road, but there you go. But it's on his side saying, somebody who has a lot of charisma who seems really good, and I think that's why I'm getting that Freddie Prince Jr., because he has a very strong, positive charisma. But when this person comes around you or they're talking to you, it's kind of like they may be a little bit negative, but they may act like they're negative for your benefit. This is somebody who, like, they might point out the negative and then just, like, they may talk 
in ways that like seem to go to your benefit. That I feel like they're trying to derail you. But they're, they're talking in your language. Like, how do I mean this? Because I feel like they're empathizing with you and they're slowly sneaking it in. Kind of like, oh, isn't that great? Yeah, I see where you're going. That's really cool. As long as this goes right. I mean, sometimes that goes a little, but you're prepared for it. It's fine. I mean, if that does go that way, you could always do this. I mean, if, if you need to do that, you could like pull these resource th resources together and that's how you can make that happen. I mean, if you need to make that happen, I could help you. I mean, if you do, I mean, if you're a little nervous about it, I could help you find a different way. I mean, the different way to do it would be this way. Like they're, they're a little sneaky. They're a little sly. They're like throwing in a little bit of self doubt there, a little bit of sprinkle of self doubt, self doubt there. And I feel like when this person, like they seem like they're an ally, but I just feel like they're, they're trying to derail you from doing something that they don't want you to do. And they're trying to put self, they're trying to throw a lot of self doubt in there. Um, they're messing with your passion. I'm getting that. Okay. This gives you a moment to really think about it. Kind of like, okay, wait, 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 what? What do you mean things go like that? Like, they're throwing a curve. This is the curveball. Because this person is not bad for your life. They're not bad for your life. That's the catch-22 on this one. They just seem to think that whatever direction you're going, that maybe that's not the best direction. When I get this two of wands, address the doubt, but then decide what do you want? When they're, when they're telling you, well, it could go this way or it could go that way, address that. Okay, it could, but this is where I'm going. Put all your energy towards where you're going. You're that energy that, like, if something goes sideways and life goes sideways all the time, I mean, Scorpio experiences that all the time, too. Like, you're heading one direction, something goes a little kafluki, you pick it up, you keep going. That's your life. And I feel like whatever the self-doubt is that's coming in, just address it that way. My life goes left and right sometimes. It just happens. And when it does, I deal with it and I move on. So this is a good energy for you again. This, this person is not a bad person. They're not. They're very charismatic too is what I'm getting. But you just address it. Yeah, that could happen. And like with everything else in life, I'll deal with it if I have to, but not unless I have to. And continue on your road. Keep your energy forward. Go forward full force. Go forward. For you, Scorpio, this is going to work. This is your energy. You take that run, that leap forward. You don't know what's going to happen, but you do know you'll succeed. Because whatever comes your way, you'll catch it, you'll fix it, you'll keep going. You'll catch it, you'll use it, you'll keep going. You'll catch it, that's where you wanted it, great, keep going. You just keep going. You're not going to let this work work against you. Abundance is here for you. If I can, I can't move my, I can't move my hand. There we go. Abundance is here. You're going to have what you want. Um, whatever you're going towards, the truth is, because I see this person on their side, they need your confidence because this needs to go right side up. What you're actually doing by addressing it and continuing on is you're showing this person that they don't need to be afraid because you're going forward and you're going to make it work and you're giving them confidence like, hey, after I go through this, if you need pointers, I'll let you know how I did it. Because this is a good energy for you and I feel like that's why it's on its side. It's not like it's a bad person because it's not upside down. It's on its side because... It's not a bad energy, but it may have concerns. This person may have concerns that are just not really grounded in life. They may have a little bit over-exaggerated fears that are real to them. Keep that in mind. These fears are real to them. So you don't want to like, you know, you know, scoff it off like, oh, please. You don't want to like scoff it off like that because I feel like this person is important to you. But by you moving forward and achieving your success, you're kind of proving like, you don't have to live in that fear. Just, I did it, now you do it. If you get stuck, talk with me. I'll tell you how I got through it. I'll give you pointers on what to do. Because I feel like this person needs a little bit of, uh, they, don't need it, they don't need you to do it for them. They need somebody who, who can get through it, succeed, succeed through it, and then when they get stuck, give them advice on like how to handle it. Not handle it for them, 
I don't think they want you to handle it for them anyway. But somebody who could be like, hey, I was there. This is what I did. Keep going. Just don't stop. Just keep going. and Kind of like cheer them on a little bit. Don't do it for them. Just kind of, you know, encourage them to keep going. Because divine guidance and courage I see is coming up for them later. And then that divine guidance, I feel like literally that energy is coming through you. That energy is definitely coming through you. And you're helping them get the courage to continue on as well. There's Whatever you're doing, you're doing something first. That Those doubts are their own doubts. Those fears are their own fears. They're literally thinking, they, they, they're not trying to bring you, bring you down. It's like when this is on its side, they're not trying to bring you down. They're not. But they have fears that are a little unfounded and they're holding themselves back. Keep that in mind because they, they need this help forward too. You're going to do this. You got this. I get the Nine of Swords with the Emperor coming in and the Temperance. Um, I don't think, whoever this other person is, I don't think they're a Scorpio. Let's just put it that way. Because it's not going to be the same road for them. It's going to take them longer to do it. That's not bad. There's nothing wrong with that. You're different from them. You're definitely different from them. Not in a bad way. They're different from you, you're different from them. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't think this is another Scorpio. I think that's the point. It's going to take them a little longer. They're going to do it a little bit differently. But they need your guidance to like, uh-oh, I'm stuck, now what? And you're like, you stand back up, you keep going. You stand back up, you pick that up, you get on that horse and you keep riding. You keep going. And I feel like that's what you tell them. You don't let the fear hold you down. You don't let the fear tell you what to do. You acknowledge that fear and you keep going anyway. Because you got the temperance and you got the nine of swords for I think it's them because they feel like the fear is holding them down, and I feel like you're here with the queen of cups energy, kind of like listen, I know that's a little bit painful. I know it makes you nervous, but don't let it hold you down. Keep going. I feel like you're kind of like listen. You don't have to let this hold you down. Keep going. Keep going. You're like, you're it's the, you're very kind, which. Scorpio can be very kind. I don't know why people don't realize that sometimes. <laughs> Scorpio can be very harsh. I know that too, but you can be extremely kind too. It's usually six to one or half a dozen to the other. It's, it's left or right. You're not usually in the middle ground. I usually don't notice that anyway with Scorpios. It's either very loving or very get away from me. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. You can tell me. Um, but I'm getting like, they need to come to their own power. And I feel like you need to inspire them. Kind of like, listen, can't do this for you. You need to have your own strength. The only way you're going to succeed through this is to stand on your own. I'll, I can tell you what I did. I can give you pointers. I can give you advice. You have to stand up. You have to get on that horse. You have to ride forward, and you have to continue on. You have to acknowledge that fear, and you have to keep going. And that's what you're going to have to tell them, kind of like, that's what I do. That's how I got here. That's how I got this far. You're giving that information in a very loving way, kind of like, I... I did it, and I'm not saying we're the same, but I see in you what got me through it. And I, I feel like that's what you're giving to this person. Like, I, you see that quality in them. They're not, I don't think they're a Scorpio, but you're like, I see that drive in you. I see that, that determination. I see that heart, that beauty in you. And I see that energy coming through. You can do it. Won't work out exactly the same way it did for me, but it still will work out. I see that the most important pieces, those essential pieces, you have that. Stand up, get on that horse, keep going. Address the fear and keep going. You're going to be happy with this outcome. You got the Knight of Pentacles. When it's all said and done, you have already made it. You're going to, you're going to coach this person through. They're going to make it too on their own two feet. You're not going to carry them through. You're probably going to coach them through. You know what I mean? It's kind of like think of a coach, same thing. They're not playing the game. They're giving advice to the players and telling the players how to care for themselves. Kind of like, you know, don't run yourself ragged. You won't have the energy for the rest of the game. Look out for this. Look out for that. Be careful. Like, don't hit the ball that way. You're going to hurt yourself, and then you're going to have problems. Hit it this way so you can keep playing and keep enjoying the game. Like, this is what you're telling this person, things like that. You're going to be very happy. This energy is not a bad energy. I think I really want to say that. Like, this is not somebody against you, not at all. But when their doubts creep in, it's their own doubts. And when you overcome them, you got it's kind of like later, you're going to be like, listen, I overcame it. You can too. Do it like this. You're going to be very happy because this is somebody I feel like is going to stand with you. I do feel like this is a very loyal person too, by the way. It feels like it's a very loyal person. 
they do believe in you. I just feel like they don't want bad to happen to you, but you're kind of like, that's okay, I got this. <laughs> and you're going to help them come through too. This is a good person, very loyal, very good. You're going to be very happy with this. Um, there's a very celebratory feel with that too when you get there. Because I feel like once you get them up to your level, it's like the, you're, you're continuing on with this person. This person is going forward with you and you're continuing on with this person. It's very good. Very, very good. Anything else I need to say with this? All right, I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james4astral at gmail.com. Thank you.